All righty, and we're live. Hello, everybody. Hi, Diego. Hi, Nicholas. Uh, hi, Jonathan. It's all good to see you in chat today. I've got a little bit of a surprise for you. I don't just have a progenitor ooze right here. I also, on the line, have someone that put it in the deck. Hey, Bryant, how's it going? Hey, Jordan, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's absolutely glad to have you live again. This is old hat for hey. you, but we're gonna get started on more live streams in the future, and I'm really excited to, uh, to be a part of it. So let's talk about this new version of the Epic Storm, because this is actually an official version, isn't it? I suppose so. Uh, I've been told by one Alex McKinley that my ideas are very, very good before he realized that they were mine. Yes. Well, everybody needs to make sure that you're in check, right? You're you're at the top of the, the tier list with the Epic Storm. Bringing you down to our level is, is something that we need to do from time to time, right? I completely understand. You know, you don't want my ego to swell up too large. Nobody would know what to do. But let's talk about our choices here. Um, the main board has stayed the exact same. We're pretty happy with that, right? We've got our Orem's Chance, our Silences. We are a no green main deck. And uh, Galvanic Relay, Ad Nauseum Echo, our main engines in the main board. But we've got one new Storm spell in the sideboard. And it's actually not new. We've played it before, haven't we? We have. We've played Ave shortly after the re release of Modern Horizons 2, before we figured out Quad Relay, before we figured out Carpet of Flowers, which has since left the deck, and before Prismatic Ending, because we played White around that time as well. And what we found was that our Delver matchup was so good that we didn't want Ave. Well, since then, we've gone away from Carpet, where we've moved three relays into the main deck, and we have a whole bunch of sideboard space. And with that extra slot, we're looking to potentially do something a little bit different. So in previous lists, we played Abrupt Decay to answer Chalice of the Void. And while well, since Jordan is the expert here, I'll let Jordan talk about how Ave beats Counterbalance. Right. So if you've been catching these streams, uh, I recognize a few people in chat that I have seen before. Welcome back. Glad you guys are here. Uh, Tim, yeah, Slime Time is back. And... The Progenitor Ooze is going to be here as our best way to fight Counterbalance. I know that in the past, we've tried things like Void Rend, we've tried things like Pyroblast. Um, really didn't make its way through to the final product. The Ooze is where we are. And it's going to be useful for fighting Counterbalance because if we can, um, what's the word I'm trying to uh, play around putting a one or a two on top of the deck uh, that our opponent is going to reveal uh, and counter our, our spells, we can work it so that we can resolve a Wish Claw Talisman and use Lion's Eye Diamonds, Mox Opals, and Lotus Petals to have a main deck out to a, uh, a counterbalance, right? If we don't want to try to resolve a Burning Wish that can get Force of Willed, it can get Hydra Blasted, it can get counterbalanced to re reveal any number of the various twos that they have and shut off a combo turn because our Tendrils of Agony and our Empty the Warrens are in the sideboard. So Ave is actually going to swap in for against Delver Ad Nauseum as our main win condition. Let's see. Uh, oh, Diego, yeah. So version 13.8 uh, had chance and silences, um, but version 13.7, <clears throat> excuse me, version 13.7 was when they were introduced. Um, and then O'Doyle rules, um, I don't see Sneak and Show that often in leagues. Uh, I don't often run into elves anymore. There elves are, is still pretty common. I yeah, mean, I elves, see is, it. elves is, is more common than Sneak and Show for sure. 
um, reclaimer elves as opposed to combo elves is the flavor right now. There was a little bit of a spike back when Reed Duke pioneered combo elves in a, um, I believe it was a paper tournament. Might have been, might have been a showcase challenge that he top aided. But it's really Jordan. Been... Why did Void Rend leave the deck? The Void Rend. Okay, so we've been talking about Void Rend, uh, Bryant and I, and the rest of the team. And Void Rend is a fantastic card. It's one too many mana than we want. The primary ver- uh, reason for for Void Rend is to destroy a counterbalance, which is fine and all if we can get to three mana against Delver of Secrets, which is going to be clocking us with their one mana, three power creatures, and putting a, the pinchers on our mana with Wasteland, then um, getting up to three was going to be a big ask. And if we get up to our three mana, we can destroy the counterbalance, but we're probably not comboing off that same turn. So... It was just a bit too much to be asking of our deck. Ave is going to be the the choice that we go with today instead. The other okay, thing... well, oh, in go for it. previous videos, Bryant Cook said that we didn't need prismatic end or we didn't need pulverize because we have prismatic ending. Well, I noticed that there's a pulverize back in your sideboard. Why was Bryant wrong? Bryant is never wrong don't ever don't ever tell him otherwise um but yes i was going to talk about this pulverize this is not for chalice of the void the one of permanent that we have to deal with that's what prismatic ending is in the deck for right pulverize is in direct response to the high amount of mono blue painter that we've been seeing in leagues in challenges in competitive legacy events. Um, It has really seen a bump in popularity recently. And since they can play out Chalice on one, Chalice on two, they can have multiple permanents. They have Pithing Needles for our Wishclaw Talismans. Pulverize was going to be the answer that we best thought uh, answered that problem. Interesting. So Bryant was wrong. I'm legally not allowed to say that. Bryant <laughs> was misguided. But with all of that said, the deck has has uh, remained at its core. Our favorite Rite of Flame, Dark Ritual, Brainstorm, Storm deck. Ad nauseum and Echo Vions, always fantastic. And then Galvanic Relay has really just found a home here. Um, it's not going to change all that much. You'll notice, actually, that we can't cast Ave off of our lands. We are a greenless four color deck. That Ave is going to come off of Mox Opals and Lotus Petals and more prominently, Lion's Eye Diamonds, where we can use the Lion's Eye Diamond and the three green casting cost off of Ave, either fetched from the Wishclaw Talisman or off of a relay. Um, Joda Hay, uh, just contractually, right? It's it's mostly just friendly banter. I can tell him that he's wrong. He often is, but in this case, I think that he was just misguided. Um, I Okay, so in my own defense, for those two weeks that we cut pulverize, I do think it was the correct choice. And then mono blue painter slash eight cast made a huge resurgence for those two weeks. I do think it was the correct choice. I I think so. But man, the pink elephant always comes back, right? This is, this is a fantastic sorcery. You can't beat s- spells in their sideboard for burning wish that you don't have to pay mana for. So so a thought that I've had recently is, is, and people are going to be mad when I say this, but I have lots of thoughts. It doesn't mean anything's going to happen or that any change will happen. It's just an observation that I'm making that makes me start to future plan, which is that if you look at MTG Goldfish on the homepage, you'll see uh, the legacy metagame, whatever you go there. And initiative is the second most played deck at the moment. 
But when you look at it, it's down to 7.1%. And then if you combine Boros and Selesnya, uh, there's another 4.5% or whatever. Uh, so it's like 10% of the metagame is initiative, which is still a lot. Don't get me wrong. It's less than, it's like half of what it used to be. And we originally started playing this build because Orem's Chant and Silence beat Mindbreak Trap, right? And then Prismatic Ending beats their Thalias, it beats their Chalices. Uh, it's just really good. Well, when you look at a lot of lists recently, there's no Mindbreak Trap. A lot of lists don't even play Thalia in the main deck anymore. So the, uh, the Prismatic Endings that were once really good against Thalia don't have as much going on there. And a lot of lists don't even play Chalice of the Void anymore. So in my head, and I'm just sharing a thought here, in the foreseeable future, it might not be crazy to go back to green. I still prefer white at the moment, don't get me wrong, but the reasons to be white are slowly going away. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, I think that we've had this conversation as well. Um... I see where you're coming from for sure. I'm not quite, I mean, obviously you're not saying that we should switch now or anything like that. Um, but I do think that that's going to be something that we might need to consider if the meta starts adapting to Mono White Initiative, Selesnya Initiative, Naya Initiative, these these um, powerful mid-range, mid-range uh, creature decks that are not going to be teching as hard against combo like they were at the very beginning, right? So yeah, I, I don't plan against Mind Break Trap with them. I don't plan around um, Trinosphere, although the Hank the Obese Mono White Initiative list is playing Trinosphere and that has always caught me. <clears throat> but we yeah, have... but like, here's the thing about that. Abrupt Decay answers it just as cleanly as Prismatic Ending does, and it's actually better because it's an instant. Yes. Uh, just throwing that out there. Yes. So I think that for now, not having completely dead cards against um, a large portion of the meta in Silence and Orm's Chant, right? These are not dead as opposed to if they were Veil of Summers. We can still Chant Walk, Silence Walk our opponent. Um, and that has some really big uh, effects on our ability to win game one so that we're on the play in game three. Um, if that becomes less and less important, I can definitely see moving over to a green list like before. Um, Veil of Summer and Abrupt Decay certainly being the reasons to do that. Yeah, me... I just don't want to overvalue the time walk. Like, sure, I know the value of a, a white time walk, but I think I don't want to hang on to it too long if it does become the correct choice to move in a different direction is all. Yes, absolutely. I, I think that not being emotionally invested in any one particular plan is definitely the way to approach deck building. I'm with you there. Um, Looks like uh, Gustavo has a question about why yeah. would A be good again? Well, I think that this is going to be our primary plan against counterbalance. Uh, Gustavo, this is going to allow us to board it in against Delver and have a main deck win condition. This plays around Surgical as well, which we didn't mention previously, actually. Um, and it, it plays around needing to go through Burning Wish into our sideboard to get a win condition. This works against counterbalance. This works against Surgical Extraction. This works against single point interaction like Force of Will and Daze. Um... Yeah. Also, uh, Malone, uh, you were asking about Mycosynth Gardens. I am unsure. Like, last week, I obviously played some Mycosynth Gardens and had a blast. Um, I'm not 100% sure where that's going to leave uh, an impression on the Epic Storm yet. It has certainly been tested in other Storm variants to moderate success as well. I think that the the jury is still out. That's mostly just a testing list, and we'll have to see where it goes from there. O'Doyle Rule says that Thoughtseize could be better than Orm's Chant, Silence, Veil of Summer. 
I have to strongly disagree here, and there's a number of reasons. The first being Echo of Aeons, like Jordan just hovered over, and Thought Seize doesn't protect your combo turn through an Echo. So you Thought Seize your opponent. Let's say that you're fortunate enough that they only have one Force, because we're in a format with not only Force of Will, but Force of Negation. And having multiple blue cards, sometimes they have Force, Force, blue card, and your Thought Seize doesn't win the game. Worms Chant or Veil of Summer always beat that. But on top of that, Echo of Aeons and Orm's Chant work together well because with Echo, they draw a new seven. If you Thought Seize them into Echo, they're just going to cast those new counter spells. So that's not going to be something that we're allowed to do. Um, and then from there, Thought Seize loses two life for Ad Nauseam. And it just doesn't work well because we're already on the higher end of things with Triple Relay and Echo. Every life total really matters. Yep, those are all the re like the major reasons why Thoughtseize exists in our sideboard against combo matchups, and why Silence and Orm's Chant are here in the main deck. And everything that Bryant just said about Silence and Orm's Chant helping out with Echo of Eons, making sure that you're protected after you draw your seven again, uh, also applies to Veil vale of Summer, right? Um, so. Those are the reasons why we see Veil of Summer or these chant effects and the expansion into a fourth color instead of being base Grixis. Uh, obviously, we still have our Rite of Flame, Dark Ritual, and Brainstorm, but we that fourth color is is necessary to to make sure that we actually make sure that we get our spells to resolve. Anyway, um, I think that we're going to get into a league. I actually have one queued up. Um, let's see. I am going to start up a league match and while we're getting paired, I'm going to run a little bit of a Moxfield ad for everybody. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Alrighty. Well, we are still waiting around for our opponent to show up, but um, I think that we've talked about quite a bit. We've talked a bit about our choices. Uh, one second. Let's see. Nick, uh, yeah, we are really hoping to get some ooze action tonight as well. Uh, don't take that out of context. We're just going to try our best. Now, I know that we've talked a little bit about cutting Brainstorm in the past, Bryant. Do you have any thoughts about that? Hmm, okay. Well... I don't think that Bryant can hear me. I'm going to run an ad really quick and try to adjust that. Want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our patron to get articles seven days early on top of other sweet benefits and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. Okay. Can chat hear me? Can chat hear me all right? I hope that you can. Um, if not, let me know. But we are on the play. Yeah, Tim Malone, thank you very much for that. Um, we might have, we might have lost Bryant. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we are going to keep the seven. Oh no, Bryant in chat. This might be, this might be on him though. He has some audio problems sometimes.
Hmm. Okay, we are in my upkeep. Well, oh yes, I know my cat. Very, uh, very upset that I'm not spending time with him right now. Hmm. I'm gonna pause for just a second and show you a little bit of an ad space about our. Mm, donation decks. Mm, some of these are a little... Let's just go with some social media. I'll be right back, guys. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. All right. Nice. Chat, can we Dude, all hear Bryant? That was not me. I promise I didn't do anything hey, different. Here we go. Okay. Well, I got to tell you, I didn't either. All right. We're back, guys. A little bit of technical difficulties, uh, but that's fine. We got ourselves a Bryant, and I'm keeping my hand here. This is looking really good. I would good. like to blame Jordan for all difficulties. They're 100% on him. That's all me. That's all me. I, uh, unfortunately, yes, we hear Brian. Tim, oh my gosh. Wow, it seems like Tim is going to get <laughs> booted from chat already. Tim, Jane. if you if you get booted, let me know, and I'll I'll make sure that you don't get, you get unbooted or something like that. Um, Brian, I think that I'm just content playing a land and passing. We can bobble, scry, and things like that, but... We are a three Galvanic Relay deck, and we have these Burning Wishes that get our fourth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, too late. I actually would play at least one Bobble there. Wow. Uh, like, our hand is sort of, uh, like, what if your opponent's a combo deck, right? True. Like, we don't really know what our opponent's on. This hand is, like, a hand really without a plan. Like, you might be the Relay hand. You, I, I don't know. I'd want more information, I guess. I can understand that. Um, it looks like... Our opponent is playing an insectile aberration on the front side, also known as a Delver of Secrets. Um, Glad that Rooker has the right idea that I am never wrong in any way. That person deserves stick, a raise. Stick to that story, eh? Um, by the way, I forgot to mention this. This is actually a donation league for Jim Novak. Um, I even wrote down the name and pasted it just under my computer screen so that I wouldn't forget but um, this is actually a donation uh, he's going to be the the league where we introduce version 13.9 we're, we're doing this for him thank you Jim mm -hmm. we appreciate you a lot even if Jim is a dirty dirty Philadelphia fan uh, all teams <laughs> from that city suck uh, just throwing that out there you know, I don't really pay attention much to sports. I did live in Kansas City for a little while, and Chief ge Chiefs games are the only fo NFL football games I've ever gone to. Um, I am I am a little excited that what was once my hometown, uh, they did well. I'm happy for them. having city yes i probably would have played this game a little bit differently i just don't know why we're running into a daze here we could have done the bobble thing this turn like we if you get have. dazed here just like it's like a mega feel bad yeah i would have played a bobble turn one turn two we could bobble again uh like i just think we're not being patient enough we might not be I can certainly um, take a little bit of a slowdown 
Um, yes, Jonathan, you're correct. We do get to see Ave this match. Or hopefully. Hopefully we get to see Ave. It's going to be in our 60 next game. Rooker, ever since they printed Stormkiln Artisan on Arena, I have loved Storm. Feels like playing to your outs. Uh, yes. Uh, I like the ability to play to your outs. And then those outs be paid off. That's always a fun time. Love how our opponent has spent 30 seconds on deciding whether or not they're going to daze this Burning Rush. Big fan. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, that just resolved? They did not choose to force it. Okay. Well, with that being said, I think that our get is the Galvanic Relay. I would agree. That said, I don't think we're supposed to hold at least one bobble. We should play out a bobble here just to try to hit another Mana Source for next turn. Right. I was going to say that. I actually like that. Um, they are a four Wasteland deck, and being able to hit land three or a Mox Opal or something like that is going to be pretty helpful. We should also bobble ourselves to see the top card because if it's something we don't want, we could then decide to try to bobble again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rooker, uh, just next level our opponent by being so brazen in the face of days. Oh, I like that card. Um, well, that is a card we want, but yeah, it doesn't actually have... help us with any of our game plans next turn. We still need mana. Yes. I was going to get... I think that we do need to bobble again. Uh, Malone, Thoughtseize is really not going to be where we want to be against uh, an opponent. It's going to be cantripping quite a bit. They're, the texture of their hand... Everybody says texture of their hand, right? The texture of their hand is going to change so drastically from turn to turn that if I were to thought seize them, unless I'm doing it the turn that they that I combo, um, their turn three hand could look drastically different from their turn two hand. Now, I will wait to see if this Delver flips and reveals something before cracking this bobble. Oh, wow, we drew an arms chant? That's crazy. Oh my gosh, it's such a good card. We just need the mana. If you're thinking we already have two mana and an arms chant, when you look at the mana that we do have, it doesn't quite play out the way we want because we want to be able to cast our ritual we want to be able to Burning Wish. We want to be able to Orm's Chant. So that's three initial colors of mana we need. And on top of that, we need to be able to play through Days, a card that we've already discussed. Mm -hmm. So it's really four mana sources, unless for some crazy reason out there, your opponent decides to not interact with the Dark Ritual. Yes. Um, also, uh, Nicholas, uh, the plan is exactly that. For our Delver matchup, we're going to plan on taking out Ad Nauseam and bringing Ave, our favorite Ooze, in. Feldegriff. Yeah, they could daze that bobble. I think that that would have been a poor choice. Uh, instead, they're playing a powerful choice in Wasteland. Right. Wastelanded was not ideal. Definitely not. We're going to bobble them. The top of their car their deck is another wasteland. That's brutal. Okay, so we're gonna draw two cards. One for the bobble. Lotus petal is good. Another lotus petal hey. is also good. Wow. Um Okay, so we cannot play around days if we want to cast all of the things. Um, G eight E O three. Yes, that is still true. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Our opponent is considering this Lotus Petal, right? Every mana could... Ah. <laughs> you know, I forgot that this is a card that I need to actually consider in the main deck. I was not playing out Orm's Chant so that I could potentially play around Days, right? And... I mean, here I think we just play Petal. Um, we don't want to get anything else misstepped. We know that we're going to be Wastelanded next turn. Yes. So let's do something meaningful now. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, something meaningful is going to be a relay. At least we're going to try. You know, Nick, uh, playing out the Lion's Eye Diamond could actually have been the play. Um, I don't know if our opponent would have been savvy enough to... Oh, the Storm Scout. Storm Count on screen. Um, yeah. It's really easy, Jordan. We just need to show the chat box and then slide it over. Yeah, that's fair. Right, now slide that over just a hair. I forgot. I was uh, grabbing screenshots for my article series on theepicstorm.com. It'll be live to Patreons in a week. Um, and I always take out the, the chat and game box, uh, the chat and game log, excuse me. Um, so that they're not cluttering up the screen. Okay, so our opponent Force of Will the Dark Ritual. We know that they have a Wasteland on top of their library, which is gonna eat this Scrubland. We can't really do anything meaningful, so our goal so is to not draw. to harp on this, Jordan, but I think this game started with a, I'm, not, I'm really not trying to make fun of you here. This game started with a mistake that is cascaded throughout the entire game. Yes. We decided not to take advantage of our bobble scries, and we're just being punished. Yes. Um, this is something that I am learning as a um, mid-level Storm player. Uh, these these mistakes early in the game cascade and grow and grow, and it's kind of hard to recognize them when they happen. And then you can say, oh, you know, my opponent got lucky. They had double wasteland. They had a force of will and a minor misstep. Oh my God, they just had it all. Where I could have made uh, more dedicated and careful decisions in the early game so that that actually did never even mattering. So this is something that I am trying to be um, be better at for sure. If it sounds like I'm harping on Jordan, I am sorry. Jordan, I love and I appreciate you. But yes, I am harping on Jordan. Yes. I want Jordan to be the best possible TES player he can ever be. So do I. All right, there's that wasteland that we know and love. By the way, they pondered and chose not to shuffle. Um, they have well, two we've cards already lost this game. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're just going to make them attack us down to zero life because they take five minutes per decision and they might time out. Who knows? They might. We are, in fact, behind on clock, but that's because we had some te technical difficulties at the beginning of the match. I think that that would be all made Jordan's up. fault. 100% Jordan's yes, fault. Yes, absolutely. Not the person that has routinely experienced audio if issues on uh, Discord. That's definitely you. Don't try to pass blame here. Um, okay. I think that I'm going to just play this plateau and pass. If they have wasteland number three, more power to them. Um, I'm not going to run out a burning wish and try to echo without chant backup. Would love to draw something like Rite of Flame, Mox Opal. All of those things would be delightful. Yes. There are plenty of good draws here. Our opponent 
I mean, again, thinking quite a while. I told you they're planning on timing out, especially if there's a game three at the pace of play, they're screwed. Yeah, you know, we actually are ahead on clock now. Seconds ahead, but ahead now. Also, uh, I noticed that last week you chimed out twice. That's if you time out happen. at all, I'm just going to bully you the rest of the stream. Yeah, with no I, love in it. It's I, just going to be straight bullying. Don't think that we're going to time out this time. Uh, I got a little excited. I was talking to chat, right? You guys kept chiming in, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's more chatters. That was exciting. We actually had, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but we had our biggest stream um, last week. It was really exciting. There were a lot of you around, and... Uh, it's pretty fun to hang out with you guys. One card in hand. So this would be a great turn to try to... Ooh. Hmm. So they have lethal on... No, nope, they have... They don't. One short of lethal. They have one short of lethal. They have one card in hand. If it's a daze, then... Wait, no. Do we know that it's the expressive iteration? Um, they pitched that to force, I thought. They pitched... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they did pitch the expressive iteration to force. That's right. Okay. Um, okay, so there's an unknown. It could be a bolt, Tim. That's for sure. I think... So it's worth noting that if you take nine here and then do get the resolve next turn, the fetch land drawn off for your turn or off the echo don't help you. Right. So I'm kind of tempted to chance it now. I think so. I, I also agree. Um... Not that it's going to matter, but we also couldn't peer into the abyss. That also felt a little like an F6. Spin, baby. Spin. Seven. It's a clunky seven. It is a... Uh, it's an L right there. That's not going to do it. We can't... Play a land, make them attack you. You know, that's actually reasonable. Um, I can, I could have chanted if I drew it and a mana source, uh, an additional mana source, I could have chanted them. Um, Look at this. Like 40 seconds they just wasted. Mm -hmm. Doyle, we don't know our opponent's gender. Uh, it is their our opponent, draw step. their draw steps. Yes. I don't assume all of your opponents are males. It's not very nice. Um, so we're going to be taking nine. We have lost this game, but they have uh, spent quite a while getting to their attack step. We'll see how it goes. Jordan, what are your favorite tokens for a progenitor to use? Um, I struggle with that, right? Because there's not a given token for Ave. Uh, I have a couple of things that I've done, but my solutions have not really ended up working out really well because you have to have all of the dice on top of the card. And when you stack up a really nice big Ave, right, for 12 or something like that, those dice are not realistic. Um, so what I've actually been doing is I've been using, ding, 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 the Epic Storm token pack. The mini token pack actually has Ave Progenitor Ooze tokens um, on it. And they actually have, in increasing order, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the original non-token Ave, you can put a die on and 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 show what that one is. Uh, that's the way that wow. I found. I know, I know. That is the best way. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. It Go is. order your Epic Store mini token packs. I've seen a bunch of people say, oh, I'll just carry extra copies of Ave in my deck box. That is your fastest way to a game rules violation and possibly a game loss. You cannot have spare cards in your deck box allowed nope which is really too bad because i really liked my foil um okay our opponent has finally killed us 
Uh, I really liked our my foil lands um, that were signed and everything like that that I would use dice on, but you really can't use dice anymore to keep track of storm or mana floating. Uh, the Epic Storm mini token pack, plug, 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 is actually legitimately the way that I go for counting storm, keeping track of the colored mana, and then I also have the Ave tokens. I, I can't lie, I use different goblin tokens than the ones that are in the pack, but if you don't have goblin tokens, then you can also use the goblin tokens in the pack. Um, I just happen to really like the ones that I have. And you don't want to be the guy that doesn't have the tokens uh, when you're trying to storm off. Or if you're playing commander, everybody's got a bunch of things that make tokens. If you have a swan song, you need a 2-2 two -two bird. Who has a 2-2 two -two bird? You do because you have a mini token pack. Anyway, exactly. sideboarding really quick. This is a really easy sideboard. We're going to take out ad nauseum as a as a uh, life source uh, a life resource denying deck um, in blue red delver ad nauseum is not as it, not as at its I can't talk today wow ad nauseum is not at its best here and Ave is going to make up for that by being a main deck out to things like surgical extraction on our burning wish or counterbalance we're going to submit this. So it's going to happen in this game. Jordan will cast a for Jenner Ooze. It's going to happen. I promise I've stacked the cards. It's going to work. And when that does happen, you want to be a member of this channel because you'll have the slime time emote that you can spam in our chat box. Oh, I like this hand. I'm just missing protection. Never. So is this a hand where we want a peanut butter and jam? Or are we trying to wait? What's the game plan here? So, Blue Red Delver decks are not as all in on playing like the two to three copies of Force of Negation that they had previously. Um, I think that I'm going to jam. So I would like to say, according to Goldfish, almost every list still has two force of negation in the board. Really? Okay. Um, I mean, if you want to jam, we can peanut butter and jam. I'm not going to make fun of you. No, that this doesn't much, have but... this doesn't have uh, the ability to ave, which is a consideration, right? We want to be able to ave. Varlus knows. Varlus is slime slime time in it up. Um, also, Rooker. We actually don't want Ave in our hand. None of our lands actually cast Ave. We want to be able to um, tutor it off of Wishclaw Talisman or uh, with a Galvanic Relay so that we can use Lion's Eye Diamond as our primary green sources. Um, but yes, Tim, this would make a bunch of goblins. That's the goal of this hand if we were going to Peanut Butter and Jam. Our opponent... Honestly, yeah. Is mulling I think we're five. fine just going land go. Yes, that was where I was going. Um, our opponent is mulliganing to five cards. They might even go lower than that. Um, so, a doyle ad nauseum is in fact a sorcery. Um, and I cannot burning wish for anything other than a sorcery. Ad nause is an instant and unfortunately isn't up for debate. Once they print, uh, well, they did actually print the Sorcery Speed Ad Nauseum. Its name is Peer Into the Abyss, and it's an incredible Burning Wish target. Um, they kept five. I'm going to just pass. They might have kept a five that has force of will. They might have kept a five that has minor misstep. I don't know enough about my opponent yet, other than they take a while to reasonably um, think about what their five actually ended up being. Graft Digger's Cage. Wow. Sure. Sure. <laughs> that is a card that has very little text against us. 
Okay. Hmm. So would you... This is an interesting choke point here. Right. Would uh, you play out a burning wish right now into days, into force of will, into a potential surgical extraction if it gets countered? I know I made fun of you for it in game number one, but I think I would here. Mm -hmm. The reason why is if we choose to play out diamond, diamond opal, play around days we get blown out by something like meltdown so that's a consideration we can't cast the thought seize immediately or else we're playing in a days anyway right and we lose all of our storm count i think that i'm all with you on that one so we'll go get our handy dandy scrub land volcanic island pairing that we had in game number one yes put this wish on the stack we have two pair of lands in this deck. Uh, we have the Underground Sea Plateau, and we have the Scrubland Volcanic Island, and they cover our bases as far as the four colors. And then we have a Badlands, which is usually, usually, the third land that we get when we're planning our turns out. Um, Love that Varless. the Burning Wish resolved. We grab the Thought Seas. We are set up next turn for Fireworks. Yeah, this is going to be a, an explosive turn three for sure. Uh, Varless, we're playing against Blue Red Delver, like Malone said. Um, this is the first match, so you catch us catch us early. No! Ooh. Brutal. Okay. Well, we have a Chrome Mox that we can use as a... Um, so we're gonna play around counterbalance here, right? This is gonna be a little interesting to do, but let's start off I with- I don't think we test with Chrome Mox because I don't think that they're going to reveal. Do you think, think you wanna- think we should start on something like Opal. Oh, yeah. Opal, okay, yeah, that's also but fair. Obviously it's best if they have like a three or a five on top, but it's not very likely. Right, I would even settle for a one. We really don't necessarily need a one this is a graph diggers cage into counterbalance uh ooh, they have a zero they have a volt let's try the thought seize now and mm -hmm. we'll come back next turn yep we can always do this again i do think that this graph diggers into counterbalance is the reason that they kept this hand so they have a minor misstep a ponder and a murktide regent i'm keeping that ponder in their hand and the Murktide region I don't care about. This is an obvious minor misstep take. Um, I do want to just consider like, hey, this Ponder could stack this counterbalance up in a way that is problematic for us. So I'd just like to point out here, uh, if we leave them with minor misstep, we know that they're drawing Volcanic Island and then they're blind flipping. If we, let's say they put a one, or they have a one on top next turn, we can go diamond, diamond, chrome mox, empty next turn. And if they minor miss up an LED, we don't care. You know, that's a good point. Okay. Um, yeah, the minor misstep not hitting a burning wish is pretty big here. So yeah, let's take the ponder. Um, so O'Doyle, we tried out Pyroblast and Pyroblast was pretty all right. Um, it still gets hit by counterbalance you have to play around it in certain areas uh just like you do if you're playing ave but ave is much more of a slam the door uh kind of a kind of a threat whereas if i red elemental blast or pyroblast the counterbalance then i still have to combo out um, I can do a little minor combo by playing around counterbalance and, and playing out my zeros if there's a one revealed or however it ends up working out. And then slam, you know, five ooze tokens. Oh, we can just play this decent. whole thing over again. Yeah, let's do it. Counterbalance triggers. Counterbalance reveals another counterbalance. Okay, that's not as ideal. Um, 
Nope. We can get our mana into play, though. We certainly or we can. Sit and wait. can. Uh, I guess it depends on what our game plan is, right? Mm hmm. So it's another blind flip next turn. They still have this minor misstep up. They haven't countered anything. Um, Are we crazy if we just wait? I don't think so. They have two counterbalance triggers, but they don't have something like a Darcy to change the top of their deck in between the triggers. So I, I think just passing. Yeah, I think I'm just fine passing. Uh, Justin, hello. Yes, it is slime time. This might actually end up being not slime, um, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see. You're somehow a minute underneath our opponent on clock. Oh, I know. We did have a lot of downtime in the very beginning. We were four or five minutes behind them. Okay. Right. Uh, so. Let's test the waters with the Chrome Mox. Yeah. Because it also incentivizes them to counter an LED with uh, this stuff. We want to see a one here. Hey, Phoenix. Uh, we did try the Mycosynth Gardens last week. It was fine. They was revealed a surgical. surgical. Yes. That's Here good. we go. Okay, we can LFG. do the things that we want to do. Uh, so we have enough mana. We're going to want to imprint this dark ritual. Well, yeah, I guess that's just fun. Um, I guess we could also imprint the burning wish. Right. Which is what I was thinking. Like, we have... Right, let's not waste our clock. Let's just... Let's take the actions yeah, yeah, while yeah. we go. Sure, sure, sure. I'm just going to imprint the burning wish. Um, Can we auto yield to those counterbalance triggers, please? Oh. Yeah, sure. Is it making you nervous? I don't see why we're allowing our seconds to go down. All right, so Storm is now three. Uh, I believe we have enough mana to play the Dark Ritual as well. That's an extra Storm count. Mm -hmm. Which is why imprinting the Burning Wish made sense to me. Um, no, uh, Malone, they have revealed a one drop on top of their library. So Dark Ritual is not going to actually make any mana. It's going to be minus one mana plus one Storm. That's essentially all it's good for here. But... With all of that being said, we're going to be making 14 goblins, and uh, I think that is going to be enough. Let's tap our Max Opal, yep. make sure we don't uh, accidentally lose Metalcraft. Hold and, control. Uh, we're going to cast Alex McKinley's favorite spell in the deck. I mean, I have to say, oh yeah, I auto-yielded to these counterbalances. I really hope that I get priority after that. Can un auto yield. Yeah. Let's see. It is goblin time. It's not slime time, but Varlis is right there. We still have goblin emotes in chat. Uh, how many is this? This is going to be 14 of our. F this is my favorite storm spell. Bryant, you had a YouTube short that went live today. And um, it's best storm is, spells. It is not favorite. Yes, storm you you had it listed as best, and I agree with your listing. Empty the Warrens is seven, and that's just fine. We're storming for seven. It kind of just all makes sense. Empty the Warrens is my favorite storm spell. I saw that you put your favorite storm spell higher than mine, and I take umbrage to that. You know, I think it's because it's a better card. Mm hmm. It is. I take it is a better card than Mind's Desire. I agree. Ooh, me the captain wins. Me the captain wins. I always like seeing that pop up. Uh, Justin, Mind's Desire would be an interesting unban in Legacy. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, uh, I think it could happen. Alex's favorite like, spell to cast tendrils in the main. 
desire into desire requires you to have a deck with four desires in it which just isn't very good because it's a very tough spell to cast mm -hmm. and then people are like what about sins of the past this six mana unplayable piece of trash but there's also Mizzix Mastery, but that card's not even very good either. So you're just filling your deck full of bad cards? No one wants that. Nope. Um, I'm going to mulligan this no lander. It'd be good if we had a relay. It would be very good if we had a relay. Mm, this is a one lander. I'm... I think we begrudgingly keep and put Wish on the bottom. Burning Wish specifically, you mean? Yes. Yes. There are two Wishes in our hand. No, one of them is a wish and one of them is a claw. Yeah, uh, okay, yes, that's fair. Um, Yogmoth with the unban. I'm not sure about that, O'Doyle. I, it's probably like, is it going to do much? Probably not. Is it going to be ban unban worthy on power level alone? Maybe. Uh, but there are... Can we please have six on our opponent's turn? Sorry, you are making yes. me anxious here. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's Ooh, good. that was a good one. Okay, so even if they wasteland us... I'm playing a land and I'm passing. Um, I would agree. I'm tempted if... to brainstorm if they give us an opening or if they don't on their end step because we're pretty close to Ave here. Mm-hmm. Okay, they did not wasteland us. I will wait until the end step. So they're holding open minor misstep. Yeah. This actually might draw out a minor misstep for what it's worth. Uh, Zach, yeah, Yogmoth with pedal and LED. I mean, power level alone, probably not worth. Uh, didn't deserve a ban. Um, it's fine. Probably, but there are other factors to consider. The reserve list is I think a thing they should that we have to deal with. Ooh. These are good cards. So if I put back Chrome Mox and don't draw that, and I can just draw the Mox Opal, mm -hmm. uh, which is the one that I care least about if they decide to surgical our brainstorm for some reason. Okay. Get on the pedal, I agree. Uh, yep, I agree with playing diamond and then the opal. A diamond, yes. And then opal last, I think. Mm hmm. And then dark ritual. Mm hmm. Double dark ritual, wish clod, talisman. Ooh, they're brainstorming. Now, the other thing that we could potentially consider is instead of Echo of Eons we could Galvanic Relay. It is looking like we're going to have enough Storm to surpass the number of cards drawn from Echo. I want to see what our opponent well, does. Yeah, I think we just take this step by step. We want to mm -hmm. see if Dark Ritual resolves. Yes. This is going to start tickling the back of my brain, right? We might be... Oh, no, 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 no. No. He just gave our opponent information that we didn't need to give them. Sure. So like we could have played you're... the wish claw instead. Because now you're making wish claw seem like a better force target. Oh you man, want Nick, to you... trick your opponent into thinking that their card that your cards are scarier. Because now this wish claw is a slam dunk counter. Hmm. Before it might have been like a trick. It's all about how you sequence. You want to sell a narrative when you're playing your spells. And right now, the way that you sequence your cards, you're telling your opponent that the last few cards in your hand don't matter. Got it. Um, Nick, you spoiled the surprise. I was gonna, I was gonna ave if this wish claw resolved. But yes, we oh, are going shit. to, okay. we are going to ave. So we're going to now we can slime time. sack. And this is going to be Slime Time Live, which is the if first you remember, time. That if you remember, you, you got to use those emotes. Yes. Slam the emotes. This is awesome. This is a match one situation where we get to do the thing. This is great. Slime Time Live on a live stream. Eat slimes? Eat, eat slimes. 
This is great. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was, but it was an I'm happy sound. that your opponent didn't counter the claw, but Jordan, you make me so anxious and nervous. Look, join the club, but uh, I'm glad that we made it through. Oh yeah, Malone, you leave for 20 done. seconds. Blink and you miss it, right? We got Varlus in chat using those slime time emotes. Uh, this is pod racing. Absolutely. You know, Jordan, I told my wife that uh, it would be like two hours. And uh, right now it's looking like an hour in match one. We need to kill these Delver players faster. Yeah, you should stop lying to your wife. I don't know. I'll get right on that. Uh, Joseph, uh, this is Blue Red Delver as our opponent. They really don't have anything in the way of a board wipe. They might be playing something like engineered explosives, potentially, uh, which doesn't actually destroy a progenitor ooze tokens because the token is a copy of the card, and each copy is also going to copy the converted mana cost. Our opponent doesn't necessarily know how the storm trigger works, I think. Um, I kind of hope that they were just sitting at a fluster storm reading our legendary creature. Yeah. <laughs> legendary creature. Uh, Ralph and Rooker, you know, you guys are doing pretty all right. I appreciate the attempts. That's that's good enough. It's good enough for me. I don't know if it's good enough for Bryant. He's, hard, no he's a hard person to please. No comment. Mm -hmm. I know who the true fans are. And currently in chat, their username is Varlus. Thank yes. you, Varlus. <laughs> what will happen? Will we get to swing for lethal or will they time out first? We're going to see, but Mountain Walk, you are right on time. Absolutely. Um, slime time live. For up to 64 people watching, this is your second most viewed stream so far. Nice. I haven't been checking the back end. I could pull up studio, but I'm hanging out with you guys. I don't have enough time to do that stuff. Hmm. If for some reason, okay, they didn't win, or... But if for some reason that we didn't win and they had an answer to this, we still had an echo of eons in our, our graveyard. They conceded. Wow, we have the editor of the Epic Storm, Phil Blackman. Phil Blackman. I'm a huge fan. Oh my fan. gosh, the Epic mechanic is so splashy. Yes, absolutely. Uh, such a fun mechanic. Do you know that Phil Blackman was a writer for the WWE? I did not know. I know that he is a guest writer uh, for the Epic Storm. He wrote for my Infernal Tutoring article series. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you know, he did a pretty good job. I'm going to share a little bit about our mini token combo card pack uh, so that you can make... Looking to make playing your favorite Thanks. combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm mini token combo pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as goblins, squirrels, and slime time live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by theepicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. All right, welcome back. Um, we are paired into our round two opponent. We're currently 1-0 against Blue Red Delver. And let's see. We're in a mulligan. You are a storm master. A master of my heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Phil. Yes, you did an exact copy of Bryant. It's it's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to mulligan this all mana hand, and I'm going to keep this mana protection and action hand. Our opponent is known for playing large blue decks and vintage, like mana drain style decks. Mm -hmm. Evening, Dominic. It's good to see you. Um... I think that I'm content 
in here you can actually help me out i'm thinking of either bottoming a right of flame. i'm keeping this let's do that first i'm thinking of bottoming a right of flame or a chrome box what are your thoughts me or chat your your thoughts bryant cook mm, tough one uh I have a question for you. Is it crazy to consider getting rid of the opal? It's not crazy to consider getting rid of the opal. That's what I would probably do here. Okay. I was thinking getting rid of Chrome Mox because it's going to get rid of two cards in our hand for one mana. Uh, um, let's do that, though. But From the draw, we can make it work. Yeah. I don't have strong opinions. I in my like I wouldn't get rid of a right, but I think it's either Opal or the Chrome Mox. They each have their own downside. That makes sense to me. And we drew a land, so always had it. This is feeling pretty good. Wow. Bill Blackman would put the whirlwind on the bottom of the library. That's just offensive. Uh, thank you, Dominic. I appreciate it. And uh, Varlis can't spell my name right, so they are now dead to me. <laughs> well, it's kind of spelled like Tyrant. I think it works out um, well. Oh, well, uh, looks like this will be the last time that you stream to this channel. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, well, it's nice knowing you guys. I I think we could have considered playing with the bobble there. I'm going to consider uh, it um, now. Because, like, it doesn't really do us any good. We don't have a relay yet, so sure. like, I would have wanted to draw. In. Like, I, I probably would have kept the land for what it's worth. But uh, we're, we want it to be something that can either cash in a relay or add Nas or just, I don't know. Holding it doesn't do us a lot of good. I am going to use it to scry for what it's worth. I'm not going to see the top of my opponent's deck. Paolo. Oh, whoa. Look at the top three cards of your library. You know what this means. Oh, wow. So they're playing... Um, what is the, the oil counters creature? Oh, I wasn't thinking of that. I was thinking the uh, two-mana blue enchantment. Counterbalance. Can I think of its name now? Uh, something of the third path. There are many of the third paths. No, there is one two mana blue enchantment. Oh, of, a that two is mana. Of the third okay, path. sure, sure, sure. Don't uh, gaslight me here. Come on. They have six cards. They have six cards. Uh, I'm gonna play out a talisman, and I think I'm gonna pass. They like that. Founding, Founding the, the third, third path. path. That makes sense. You gaslighting mother effer. That's me. And I did mark that this stream was for adults. Um, but if your child is in the room, they might not want to hear that from their father. Oh, well, even if it is for adults, that's mostly for advertising purposes. Uh, you YouTube advertises the children very differently and the fact that they mostly just don't. Uh, but on top of that, you can get demonetized for the language that you use, and I do not want to be demonetized. That seems like a good way to go. I also enjoy monetizing things. Uh, let's see about what our draw is. Wow. Okay. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have five in hand. We could technically put three threats on the stack here. Mm-hmm. I think I like it. I think so too. So let's start off with Orange Chant. Hello, Zach. Oh, Zach, we've got another person that can spam some emotes if we decide to Ave Progenitor Ooze. Uh, this game, I think it's looking more and more like goblins, but we'll see. I think so. Well, at, at the very least this game, but maybe not next one. Maybe the next one we can do something really cool. Dovin's Vita. Barless, we are very far away from our next emote. On YouTube, you have to earn your emote slots, and we are 
like 40 people away from our next emote slot. So we're going to need some more supporters. Dominic, my language is delightful. I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't going to mention anything, but that was a fire comment from Dominic. That was great. I never read anything on the source. That was a little bit before my time. I was around for it. I was alive. I just, I just wasn't on the source. I think that we might have misplayed here a little bit. Uh, we had the opposite problem this game, where we want to trick our opponent into thinking that Wish Claw mattered, and mm -hmm. instead now we are putting Making Burning Wish on the stack. Yeah, so like we gave our opponent the wrong message, I guess is what we're trying to say. Sure. We are trying to, to spin a narrative whenever we storm, right? We want to make sure that our opponent counters the wrong thing, interacts with us in the wrong way. And I did not do a good job of spinning that narrative. Also, it's like weird. Uh, I am... 34 in two weeks and people still hold things against me that i said on the source when i was like 14 or 15 years old uh wow. people are wild luster storm that's a card i was not expecting in the main deck nonetheless we're in an initiative world mm -hmm. and our and opponent's playing, playing main deck storm. fluster and Ovin's veto uh-huh um, and they put a prismatic ending on top of their library with this Mystic Sanctuary. It's okay, we still have the wish in our hand. Yep. I was just informing people that when they prismatic ending the Wish Claw Talisman, we did expect that. Yeah, this is why I didn't like playing out the Wish Claw first. Mm -hmm. Because if we play out all of our mana into Wish Claw, it seems a lot scarier. Because they don't think that they have the time to then ending it. When you play it with no mana in pool or very little mana in pool, they'll let it resolve thing that they can ending it. Sure. Oh, Ricker, what are you talking about? Bryant has never had a bad prediction or a bad card evaluation in his life. Um, not even it's once. not that I said anything specifically. It's just like I was a toxic 14 year old kid who played video games. Uh, you know, I'm not proud of some of the things I said, but like of how you acted when you were 14. I don't know. They had, thir they had three cards three in hand. I would have been kind of tempted to just like try to wish there. Predict added to be TES. You know what? We will make a version 13.10 just for you, Phil. And we'll add thwart and predict and Mystic Sanctuary. What, they're a Wasteland, Wasteland deck? What? I, okay, sure so they have. There's information to be had here. We went after the white source. Mm -hmm. What does that say? That means that they likely have a single piece of interaction. It's worth noting that Scalding Turn gets Plateau here. Mm -hmm. The other white source in our library. Um with the knowledge that they did just wasteland our white source are you still inclined to burning wish this turn no the te yeah. the, the texture of the game changed yep well zach we can't all be you we have to try our best being toxic gamers at 14. um yeah, Varlis, I don't think that Comet is legal on MTGO yet, is it? I don't know. Um, but this is Jeskai Control with oh, Wastelands. Um, main deck, Flusterstorm, Dovin's Veto. Big shift in mentality I've had since uh, the source days so was back in the day. I was really dead set on everyone playing my list and making sure that everyone knew what was right or why they were wrong. And nowadays, I just let people go about living their best life or let them live being wrong because I can't convince everyone one person at a time that they should be doing something one way or another. 
Um, you kind of just got to let people do them. And if they're wrong, maybe eventually they'll figure it out. But you can't spend five hours a day trying to convince people to play in your play style. One of my favorite phrases is everybody's entitled to their own wrong opinion. I um, say that a lot. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Picked that up a few years ago and it's just been living rent free in my head since then. This brainstorm was a really good pickup. I thought about passing the turn and brainstorming in their end step, but I think that with our hand, I, I would like to brainstorm now. Um, and they're gonna Snapcaster Dovin's Veto or Flusterstorm, I suppose. I just can't imagine playing this deck in an initiative world. Like, it blows my mind. So do we think that Snapcaster Mage is the interaction that they had? I don't know. Um, you could try to relay here. Yeah. Right if Flame Burning Wish. I think you don't even need to sack the turn. Oh, you I don't even need turn. to sack the turn. Yeah. Right here, we are selling the narrative that this doesn't matter by not playing out our artifacts. Mm -hmm. so we get the relay. And we can play suddenly, a bunch of spells. Suddenly, it does matter a lot. So you might be thinking, why not get tendrils here and then play out all of your artifact mana? Because all they have to do is counterspell the lotus petal, and then you're blown out of the water. This is giving us more fighting power to come back later. Right, so this relay, since we since the Burning Wish resolved, it could have been a misjudgment from our opponent, and they still have a piece of counter magic, and this one bottleneck was going to be a source of problems if they chose to counter it. Um, yeah, Malone, we don't need to unban Necro in Legacy, because we have one. And we can play four of them. It's called Gavin. If you remember, there is a relay emote. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Did you? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's not nine. Come on. I wasn't looking. I'm sorry. I mean, spamming emotes is always fun. I was just really hoping that you went that extra step and relayed for the exact number like Varlis did. Well, Varlis is a better person than I am, Jordan. Farless is a person. Better or worse? That's fairly object subjective. If my oh. memory serves me correctly, Varless is a Midwesterner. Uh, I hear that those people are very wholesome and not at all coastal elites. Uh, that's correct. I mean, you've met me, right? You're the opposite of wholesome. Ah, okay. Just that's, a bully. That's what I hear. I am the bully. I am bullying my chess guy opponent that's playing Jace the Mind Sculptor and Wasteland. Um, all right. Oh, how will we ever win this game? Versus their four cards? Lion's Eye Diamond was a pretty good draw there. We're gonna start off with silence. And it just resolved. Our opponent is dead. Rest in peace. That doesn't do anything here. So while Jordan is mindlessly clicking cards, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Past in Flames since Dominic brought it up in the chat. So there was this time period uh, I want to say around 2017 where AJ Kerrigan was like, Bryant, our deck sucks. It's not a uh, Pass and Flames deck and we keep on trying to force it to be one. Why don't we just be the empty deck? And I was like, AJ, I don't think that's right. The best Storm deck in the format abuses Pass and Flames. It's clearly very good. And AJ was like, nah, Bryant, we got to be playing for Pass and Flames. And I didn't listen to AJ. And AJ did very, very well in like back-to-back -back teams events. And I was like, okay, AJ's clearly right and I'm wrong. So I started leaning into AJ's thought philosophy. Before he knew it, I cut past in flames. But we didn't have anything to play. So I was just playing things like Mizzix's Mastery. I tried uh, Diminishing Returns again. There was a whole bunch of bad cards. 
And there was like a solid year where we just like changed that last slot to a bunch of different things. And then uh, before you knew it, we had Echo of Aeons followed by Galvana Greeley and Wishclaw Talisman and the deck just morphed. So while Bryant was giving you a little bit of the backstory on the Epic Storm, the many changes that have happened over the years, um, the the game was a, a wash. We totally got that one. That Galvanic Relay for nine sealed the deal, threw in a brainstorm in there for extra fun. Um, Jason, hey, it's good to see you. I am glad that you're back from uh, your school broadcast and, and catching the chat. It's nice to see you again. How are we boarding, Jordan? So, yeah, we're going to take out Echo of Eons instead of this Ave Progenitor Ooze, uh, instead of Ad Nauseam. For this but Ave. we boarded out Ad Nauseum versus Delver. This I makes know, no sense. Why I would know, you board out one and not the other? Can you please all. have a consistent narrative with your deck choices? This I refuse no to sense. have consistent narratives. Um, so I'm from the Midwest. Didn't we talk about this? There's no consistent. Never mind. Um, I'm boarding in Ave and I'm boarding out Echo. This is going to be a little bit of a slower match, right? We won on turn 10. Our life total is not going to be as jeopardized as it would be in a uh, blue red Delver, four lightning bolt, Delver secrets, Darcy, Murktide regent matchup. And this echo is still going to be available if we need to with a burning wish, but they also could be running things like hold break, uh, not hold breaker horror. Um, What's the Merfolk pirate? Hole Breacher? Uh, yeah, Hole Breacher. Yeah, that's right. Um, Jason wants to know why our deck is called the Epic Storm, Jordan. Yeah, so no Epic. Uh, Phil Blackman is definitely going to be someone that has that question as well. The Epic Storm is a storm deck that was actually created by an old now defunct magic team called epic which is an acronym that stood for something that bryant is going to tell you now because i don't know i used to be a blue player and our team was all blue players so we were the eternal players in control nice yep, great name that was a pretty good name i'm gonna play out this mistress bubble you should do that mm-hmm also, yeah, Phil, you actually, I was the first person to uh, promote the Banning Rite of Flame rap, and I gotta tell you, my rap's shit. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> it's very, very bad, but I appreciate that you still stuck my name in front of that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Aaron, I did not even get to name the Epic Storm. Uh, being a young kid, I was told this is what your deck is called now. I'm actually going to draw this land. I am totally down for making land drops and passing the turn. Uh, yeah, we can definitely re-record it. I have a better microphone now that's better than the crap that I'm doing, and my neighbors are a little less upset when I... I'm loud. Bit bars. Oh yeah, Jason, this is actually a dual stream. Uh, we've got both of us on here now. Uh, only my beautiful face. You can't see Bryant. He's got pockmarks and is old and wizened and wart-y. Um, it's, not, it's not worth it. Okay, so well, here we actually... I was actually... actually discussing this earlier today. I am terrible at talking. Uh, you should know this because you have to edit my word garbage every other week. Yeah, I do. Um, that's fine. Oh, no, uh, you don't. Oh, Phil no, does. Phil does. Yeah. You're not our editor. I Come was on. like, why? I also, don't edit please don't stuff. cast this brainstorm into Hull Breacher. Please no, don't no, do no. that. Yeah, Phil well, actually I, I is sending it all to me. To the bit. Uh, that they're just like, I refuse to cast spells. We are making land drops and passing the turn. I'm totally happy with this. They can keep doing this. If they've never watched a VOD of like the Star Cities or the, the, the GPs of old with Legacy 
Storm versus Control. This does not work out well for them. Ooh, okay. Uh, I think that we can get a little creative here. Let's not, let's just play LED and pass. Oh, you want to do this can... in the up, uh, upkeep or the end step? I think we should consider upkeep silencing them. Okay. I'm down with that. Hull Breacher is a very 2023 card. This guy has Vendillion Click. You are not wrong, Zach. So by silencing them in their upkeep, we're sending them a, a false message here that we're just trying to burn cards and we want to stop them from casting spells when the reality is we're trying to resolve ad nauseum on their turn. So this Dominique person just won't quit talking about ad nauseum tendrils in the chat. Jeez, jeez, get out of here. Varlis with the line, absolutely. Dark ritual into an ad nauseum. Except, um, ooh, okay. It's That's worth fine. noting that they currently can't hold Reacher us, so we could consider firing off the brainstorm. Mm -hmm. Before they hit a land drop, I'm okay with that. We can actually probably get rid of one of these Wishclaw Talismans, depending on what we find. Hmm. Well, uh, I don't know if I like that line anymore. Nope, then. not really. I think that I'm fine ditching a Chrome Mox and a Mox Opal. I'd agree there. Also, so much tempted here to brainstorm again. How do you feel about that? Um, I could see that. We can get the Volcanic Island. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm not going to mess around with it. I've been trying to keep track of chat and play. This is not bad. I'm going to put them. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's your favorite, too. It doesn't really. Uh, Jason, Jason, I do think it is tougher to play the Modern Storm. I would agree with you there. The patterns do get a little bit repetitive, right? You can understand, oh, this is something like I should know about um, and recognizable. Okay, do we want to, let's see, this is six mana, so eight technically. I can play a Wishclaw Talisman, potentially bait out interaction. So here's the thing. Yeah. We think just playing one that they're going to let it resolve and then try to ending. Um, you know that they have access to Sanctuary plus Cantrip for the Force as well. If we play, let's say we start on Dark Ritual, that gives us six mana on board. Mm -hmm. well, Lotus Petal gives us eight. So we could theoretically present triple threat here against five cards. I think that that's fine. My goal was to get to a point where I could Ave this turn, and I think that your line does that better than mine does. And I think that I want Wishclaw to be the first one, and then potentially Burning Wish be the second one, and then Wishclaw number two be the third threat. So it's worth noting that that line's okay. It also opens you up to being sort of bold. Mm -hmm. Okay. It just resolves. Let's do this. So I think you could also potentially try to trick them here. We have eight mana. Oh, uh, we have nine mana. You could just put Burning Wish on this stack, then sack for triple green and see what happens. Mm hmm. because I still have triple black represented, which might make them think that I'm going to peer into the abyss. Those slime time emotes ready. Um, Mountain Walk, a double wish claw line could be good. Um, the first one resolved though. I was not necessarily expecting the first one to resolve. Um, especially because that actually gave us an out to activate the claw and silence our opponent, um, which 
It was a little surprising they didn't actually interact. But I'll take it. Claw pass and try to combo off next turn. They actually play prismatic endings. Um, and we haven't really seen much in the way of cantrips or anything like that. So I'm assuming that they either have a grip full of counter magic or um, some permanent removal that they weren't actually able to utilize because this is the first turn that I've had a non-land card on the battlefield. Jordan, did you know we have 69 people watching? <laughs> nice. That's very nice. Um, hello, everybody. Um, okay, we're now considering this Burning Wish a little bit more. Uh, oh, two people didn't like my joke. I am sorry. Oh, well. Gotta ruin the fun. 67 is a good number still. It's not as nice, but it's solid number I wonder if this is going to be oh I guess not okay I was going to suggest it might have been a Hydra Blast but this might just be a Dovin's Veto which we're fine with yeah I'm totally okay there with it this. is so, slime time for seven ooze let's see um TXO, I'm glad you like the line. I also like putting a lot of ooze onto the battlefield. Uh, specifically, Slam that slime time. this ooze right here that can't get fluster stormed and is going to be a big, big, big legendary creature along with How six of his How dummy do they have to friends. feel? If they're just like, oh, I'll just fluster the relay? No, this is a legendary slime. We're getting slimed. Nickelodeon Gak. Uh, Zach, you're not wrong, right? This totally could be a deck that plays board wipes. In which case, this is not going to be the greatest moment ever, but we will get a Wish Why are we being pessimistic? Back. Why are we being pessimistic here? Come on. Uh, so Jason, against control, they usually have um, single point interaction. You know, Dovin's Veto, Force of Negation, Force of Will, they can also have Fluster Storm that doesn't counter a creature, um, or they can have, you know, rest in peace, permanent cards that don't actually matter afterwards. But oh, they, they actually are, have Supreme Burden. They are actually going to be getting <laughs> something else. Um, it looks like this person has Supreme Verdict. I mean, they probably Jace, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Like, of course they have a Supreme Verdict. But we get our Wish Claw back because they didn't have it in hand. Uh, I mean, Wrath that's of just God. To yeah. Keep in mind, uh, if there is a game three. Oh no! Nope. The match. They don't. Boom. They don't have it. Okay, never mind. They cited back -back it out. Back-to-back matches. That slime time is one. That's fantastic. Uh, actually, Mountain Walk. Right, I'm gonna do you. On the I'm gonna do you one better. Uh, settle the wreckage. They're playing Settle the Wreckage. Uh, okay, that was awesome. Double slime time. Horizon's End. Thank you for becoming a Storm fan. We appreciate Ooh, it. Horizon's End. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. I'm going to run a little bit of an ad. I'm going to refill my water. And then we're going to get back to round three. Oh, I get to hit the win button. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsfirm.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsfirm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. All right, welcome back. Um, I didn't actually start playing the league. I thought I was going to take a little bit longer, uh, but I am going to start talking to chat really quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, Aaron Hooper, are you talking about the song that's playing in the background? This is actually Stream Beats. It's a DMCA free music, so I don't get demonetized. Um, 
no copyright strikes or anything like that. This is done. It's called Stream Beats. You can find them on Spotify and stuff like that. Uh, I think Aaron was asking about the ads that we run. Oh, the ad, uh, the advert song. That one, that's a, that's a Bryant question. Uh, th it's all just free music from free, what is it called? Stockmusic.com. Um. Oh, Jason, that's pretty Duck cool. Duck Mongoose. Duck Duck Mongoose. Are we playing against Rug Delver, or Canadian Threshold, or whatever we want to call it? Uh, man, all gas. It has ad nauseum relay and silence snap key? Right. right. I will keep this though. Would agree. Can Bye, keep Chromox. this and bottom the Chrome Mox. I gotta change your volume, Bryant. You're a little low for me. Sorry to hear that. That's all right. I forgive you. And then we're gonna start off on a volcanic island. Ooh, the Delver threat. Um, and pass the turn. Two classic. Mm hmm. Always a good I think time. Just pretty. Yeah, I, I don't want to brainstorm right now. I'm I'm fine with just hanging out. Jordan, mm -hmm. what is your current favorite card in the Epic Storm? Current favorite card? Hmm. I. My favorite card, my favorite storm card is, as we've talked about, Empty the Warrens. But my favorite card... Hmm. I just like Burning Wish. I think that that's just like what drew me to the deck anyway, this kind of... Oh. Perfusing Hold up. Reanimator. Okay. And they... Exiled in Atraxa. So this is... So Brainstorm is the only piece of action that we've got going on. I want to yeah, cast, so it. cast it. And hide. Okay, we can hide the wish on top. Uh, under an opal that I don't hold need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, well, too late. Sorry. Think that we could have thought about it a little bit more um i guess we should expect our opponent to make the right choice here which is taking a pedal and then we don't have metalcraft anyway yeah but otherwise the opal would have been a lotus pedal that creates storm but lose metalcraft so it doesn't matter oh i gotcha another um, brief pitching okay. dance of the dead Wow. Are they... Okay, so we know that they're an Atraxa deck. Are they a uh, World Gorger Dragon deck? Oh, that's just from the list from the challenge. Oh, is it really? Plays okay. four animate dead, two dance of the dead. Got it. Um, wow, they had... Stone Cold One yes, they heck did. of a draw. Should have kept the the chant ad nauseum hand that with no mana in it. Apparently so. Uh, oh, Dominique, the storm mirror is wild. It was a lot more wild when we didn't have chance and we had Veil of Summers, and had to win with Empty the Warrens. But now can it's a little game different. Two? Why are we? Yeah, yeah, we can just ourselves go. To this game. That's fair. Uh, there's nothing wrong with conceding. I'm just going to throw that out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to bring in three Thoughtseize, and we're going to take out three Galvanic Relay. We're going to consider this Slaughter Pact, but our opponent is likely not playing non-black creatures like Chancellor of the Annex or Iona or um, 
Sarah's Emissary. Uh, so Slaughter Pact has a lot of diminishing returns against a deck that we likely can't actually target any of their cards. So I think that I'm good with just this. And submit. These builds have one single copy of Chancellor in the sideboard, but I don't think I changed the board plan for that. I'm just making No, that's a little... I mean, I guess that's a wild choice, but... Thanks again, Horizon Zen, for becoming a member. Oh, I like this hand. I do too. I think we want to start on a bobble, look at our opponent's top card, and that way it can inform our Thoughtseize decision. Oh, Dominic, you are Horizon's End. That's awesome. Well, thank How you. How can you be two people at once? <laughs> they mulligan to six. And they've kept their six. Okay, so... I hope that the next mulligan rule, by the way, is that they just, like, combine Vancouver with the London, where you get to London and then scry one for each mulligan, just make it super broken. Oh, boy. Combo deck, here I come. Too bad I'm already playing a combo deck. Okay, so let's get the Scrubland. Get set up with a dual pairing that we care about. And Thoughtseize. They reveal the days off of the Mishra's Bobble. And they have... Hmm. Force blue card, grief black card. I think I want to take... Oh, man. So they don't have a reanimate, but this careful study is going to draw them a little bit deeper. My thought is that I take the grief to protect this burning wish. Don't hate it. Yeah. And if they draw a reanimate, then more power to them. They're also lacking a black source, right? So they would need both the reanimate and oh, the Oh, you black know, source. they are lacking a black source. I didn't catch that. Uh, O'Doyle, Entomb is not super great because they already have the careful study and a fatty in hand. Entomb doesn't do exactly what we want there. Um, now okay. we can bobble them and look at the next card down. Yep, and I'll wait to do that. I guess I could have done that in response to the careful study, but... Yes. I was going to... see game for your misplay. And Tomb, Tomb and Atraxa. So, let's take a look at the top card. It's a Grizzlebrand. They have Forest Days in hand. Silence. Draw. Bloodstained Mire. Alright, so I think we should try to get a little tricky here. I think we should just play uh, one of the lands and then try to silence them, get them to interact. Mm -hmm. Or you're not gonna... Okay, fine. Oh, oh, you're talking about... Yeah, I think we should play out the pedal too. Uh, let's like sell them on the fact that we wanted to kill them this turn. Sure. Or sit. For sit. Nope. Ah. Uh, okay. Like the double silence here. If we could have sold that lie to our opponent, would have put us super far ahead, and then we could have silenced them in their upkeep, trying to dig for that LED. I think it made a lot of sense. Oh. Okay. So they get a bunch of cards. And do I get to see what they. Nope, it's bugged. You're supposed to, but you don't. Okay. So force animate show and tell brainstorm three. So we know that they have the Pluta Delta. They have an animate dead. They have a show and tell. Oh, it does show you in the chat now. Oh, did not Delta, the other day when I played it. Animate dead. Grief. Dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna be good. Okay. That was a quick one. Blue black reanimator. Going back a decade ago, back when this deck was still played, it was a nightmare matchup. Yeah, it is not gonna be a good time. Um. 
which is just fine. Uh, it does look like it's fixed though. So Atraxa is not bugged, which is nice. Let me tell you a little bit about Bryant talking to you and Phil edits. The best legacy podcast? That would be Eternal Glory featuring myself, Bryant Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We're available on all major podcast platforms and YouTube. Uh, speaking of Phil, yeah, this, the word scoop doesn't show up on any magic card. That's good to know. It doesn't show up on my vocabulary either. I want my opponent to kill me. Except it's probably important to do to uh, make sure that information isn't given. Also, I mentioned this at the beginning, or, well, I guess the middle of round one. This is a donation deck sent to us by Jim Novak. Uh, awesome guy. Um, super really nice fan. And we're going to be playing the uh, release, I guess, of version 13.9 of the Epic Storm with a progenitor. You're facing Yorian Death and Taxes. Yorian Death and Taxes. From the draw. Um... Not super excited about this. No, we can fix this then. Mm -hmm. I am pretty excited about this one. This gets the silence walk. Yep. The uh, relay on the bottom. And yes. uh, somebody in chat brought up that we should fix our record. Why don't oh. you do that? Yes, we are two and one. Thank you very much for that. Uh, okay. Mother of Runes, thankfully. Everyone loves a good mom. We don't. Oh, that was a good one. I still think we we're just... gonna we bobble silence, silence them. Walk. Yeah. I'm gonna bobble now to see if I want that card. I you could do. double silence walk. I guess I could. I don't know what that oh, gives we me. We should just we should just get a different. Card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know. He was like, what are you talking about? Uh, I want the red source. I guess I have another land, so it doesn't really matter, but. That was a good, a one. good draw. Shot and port. Okay, well, as far as not casting spells go, that was pretty all right for them. It's not going to change anything. We are going to... So you might be thinking, why not empty here? Ten goblins doesn't really beat most of their draws. Especially with a mom already on the board. We're going to spin the wheel. Right round, baby. Spin that wheel. Storm 5. We have an artifact in play for Metalcraft. Um, we can upkeep ad nostric them. Um, we... Or we can, can chant walk them. We can chant them and then see what happens. Can we bobble ourselves now. Let's get some info. Yeah, sure. Galvanic relay. Not necessary. Not great. It was a burning wish. Mm -hmm. So if it was a burning wish, that would be fantastic. But I think that I'm be a win. gonna chant them. I think that's fine. It's worth noting that we don't have enough mana to actually do anything in our next turn. Um, oh, I know. Oh, well, we have a main deck echo. We. What I'm saying is, okay, can we not pass? Like, oh, okay. So let's say we just upkeep chant them hypothetically. Mm -hmm. They port our Badlands in the upkeep. Uh, we now are drawing a Galvanic Relay, so we have one unknown draw. Oh, and sure. And it doesn't do anything. So on the following turn, they can play Thalia. Hmm. Uh, okay. That is what I'm trying to share here, where we could currently brainstorm into a potential win 
it would have to be the two cards underneath the relay. But even if we miss, we can upkeep Ad Nas and maybe, just maybe, get enough resources to plow through Athalia. Yes, that seems pretty good. Uh, oh. Uh, if we would have just believed in the burning wish. I know. Uh, that would have been a win. So, Aaron, we actually oozed both round one and round two, which is great. Uh, I think we took wish underneath Adnaz. Mm-hmm. So, this will be sacking the Lion's Eye Diamond for black and for white. In Ooh, that's really good. We should have put back the chant then. I'm a dummy. That would have been the best line. Oh, you know, yeah. I was thinking that's that we were just- That's actually the big brain line. That would have been oh. really good. <laughs> oh, we, we missed it. That would have been so Yeah, just better. instead of instead of the burning wish. I thought, yeah, burning wish makes sense because we want more like engines. We don't want to. We okay, don't want to reduce that. Give, give us another chant here. Okay, here we go. Here's our revealed cards. If we have a chant, then we have a chance. Is that how it goes? What's a chant? Our cards are good so far. Yes! There's a silence. There we go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, uh, I can keep flipping, but I don't think uh, I need. So if we flip relay, they attack us. Can't use a fetch. Uh, I I have a Valk. I'll do okay, one more. I'll go to four. Wow. Okay, what I'll stop life? there. Okay, let's cast her silence. <laughs> wow! 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 We're good. Yes, Tim, you've been talking about Gladnaz. I we we are not anywhere close to getting a new emote, but Gladnaz might need to be it. I don't know I don't if it's going to be it. I heard that it's a shame we don't have a right of flame or something. Oh, that might be it. Uh, Alex, hello. It's good to see you. I'm sure I've missed a lot of people uh, in chat saying hi. Hello to everybody in chat that I haven't said hi to yet. Jordan, I appreciate you. But I'm just letting you know this now. Your stream will get bigger. And when it does, do not feel obligated to say hello to every single person in chat. Yeah, I know. It I is, really uh, Not something that will be sustainable. So enjoy your greetings now, fans. I know. Enjoy. All those personalized enjoy. greetings and things are going to go away when I get more popular. It's a weird thought to think. Um... And then one day you can only say hi to the people you actually want to say hi to, so you wouldn't have to respond to Phil Blackman. Oh, he was a good guest. I'm just trolling. He didn't have the greatest answers, but he was a good guest. Oh, wow. Jordan with the backhand. It's the double backhand because he said that his answers were the same as yours. Oh, no. Um, we okay. both know that mine were better than yours. Th that was a really sweet. Was... Uh, we had a little bit of a I, misstep I we... where yeah. we could have actually guaranteed that we flipped a chant. But that was a really, really fun uh, bobble trick to add Nas in our opponent's upkeep and chant walk them. Actually, we did that twice that match or that game. Excuse yeah, I, was, me. I was about to call back to the deck tech where you were like, yeah, it's not dead versus initiative. Silence looks so good here. Mm -hmm. So we have seven cards that are going to come in and seven cards that are going to go out. These galvanic relays. Jidehem is complaining that my audio is low. Your audio is low? Okay. So That's I can. What Jidehem says. It's I can turn it up a little softer bit. Softer than the music, apparently. Softer than the music. Okay. So I can turn the music down and turn Bryant up. Uh, I wish you hadn't have put, pointed that out, Jidem, because that was the point. You didn't need to hear Order. Bryant. Uh, I'm just going to dock your pay for the month. You're beating to hurt my feelings. That's fine. What pay? Um, okay. I, I know you do. It's nice. 
uh, <laughs> Prismatic Ending, Thoughtseize, and Slaughter Pact in. I am leaving in two Orm's Chants, and I'm taking out two Mishra's Bobbles instead of the Orm's Chants, which is our normal boarding plan for initiative. Death and Taxes, I'm likely to be facing Mind Break Trap. So. That was a sweet game. Mm hmm. I know. I might have to use that as an infernal tutoring scenario. That was kind of a fun one. It was a good one. I don't know if it'll match up well for infernal tutoring. Like, some of the really, really cool plays span multiple turns or multiple. Uh, actions as we gain information from a brainstorm or something like that. But if it's uh, easily screenshotable, that'll be a fun little puzzle. Is it crazy that I like this hand? Yes. I didn't like this you, hand. Um, so but we can, we we're can think about it. We're facing a deck that where we want to be able to win on the first turn mm -hmm. so that we were not losing to Thalia. Mm -hmm. We have triple fast mana plus a right of flame. So Brainstorm only needs to find Hypothetical Action plus a Super Ritual. So Rite of Flame 2, Dark Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond. We already have Orem's Chant. And if we had a Fetch Land, we could potentially put back Rite of Flame or Chant and then Brainstorm again looking for what Action. we're missing. Like this, like this hand does a lot. Sure. Do they have it? No, their one drop is not as good as I was fearing. Oh, okay. not that we didn't have the answer to it, apparently. And then we can brainstorm. Vile chill. Hello. Uh, yeah, brainstorm definitely carry this hand. I see you in chat. I know who you are. Uh, okay. This is not bad, so let's think about this. Um, one, two, three, four. So we're not gonna do anything this turn necessarily, but we could put back Brainstorm. I think we wanna imprint Brainstorm this turn. Uh, so that way we have mana to ending Athalia on turn two. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. But, like, so, the cards to put back here are Right of Flame or Orm's Chant because we don't want Wish Claw or Burning Wish to get surgical, surgical mm -hmm. shuffled. Sure. So, Orm's Chant and then the Right of Flame. Chromox imprints a Brainstorm. Do we want to consider playing out a Wish Claw Talisman? So, you would be playing into a Mind Break. Um, yes. That decision is yours. I don't know if I would, but uh, I don't have strong opinions one way or another. I'm gonna. I think that I want yeah. to get through um, some of the mana. And yeah, it's okay. Um, I wanted to get through some of the was, mana intensive things. I thought that was kind of. Uh, I expect like your opponent knows how to play DNT. Like mm -hmm. they're a they're very DNT good DNT streamer. player. So like they're not going to fall for a cheap trick like you were just trying to pull off. Uh, like trying to set up to beat a mind break anyway. So they're going to mind break the first thing they have access to. Mm hmm. That makes sense. Um, okay. We know that our top card is a chant. Right. Burning Wish can't really get anything we care about here. Nope. I think we just have to pass. Yeah, I don't want to... Alternatively, you could Burning Wish for an Echo, but we know that we're still a little bit of ways off of doing it. Right. I'll I'll wait on that just in case we need to Burning Wish for something else, right? If we draw the Echo naturally. Um, but I'd like to point out we did nothing that turn with our mana because we played in a Mind Break. It's fair enough. Um, and I don't want a prismatic ending, something that is not actively shutting me down from comboing, right? This Lion Sash is not going to do anything. Um, but I think it's going to be just fine. 
Uh, so Vile Chill, we have uh, an Orm's Chant on top of our library right now, which actually is going to... Uh, oh, we played around the Field of Ruin. Um, gotcha. So the, the Orm's Chant is going to allow us to play around a Mind Break Trap instead. Um, they can Recruiter for Thalia here. Mm-hmm. And then they can Vile... Thalia in. Caracas is currently down. Yeah, I don't think that they're going to make that mistake. Oh. Oh. All right, Thalia be gone. Get out of here. All right, can we get a Lion's Eye Diamond off the top? Oh, platinum sticks. Yeah, uh, it's thankfully not something that we need to worry about discarding our hand. Uh, I haven't played very many roguelites at all, but I do enjoy keeping my hand and being able to plan multiple turns down the road. Big draw to card games. What are we doing here? This is vile. Lauren. Uh -oh. Lauren of the third path. Brutal. Oh, boy. Hindsight Diamond still does it for us, though. It does. I will say, uh, to my detriment, that if we had waited to turn to deploy that Wishclaw Talisman, we would still have Metalcraft. That is true. Because we would not only have the petal we burned, we'd also have that Chromox. Mm-hmm. And Carl is typically two copies of Mind Break. Yes. In an, uh, an 80 card deck, I'm not quite sure if I need to play around another, but we certainly could. They did have it on a seven. Can we get a Lion's Eye Diamond? Uh, they can Caracas lore and blow up another artifact. Mm. Rest in peace. Rip indeed. Rip indeed. All We're right. done. I think that that's going to be it. Uh, yeah, they're definitely going to chew us up. Okay. Uh, Grant, hey, Grant, hello. It's good to see you here. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to change any of my boarding. We're just going to hope to slide under their interaction with a turn one protected win. Let's do that. I mean, this is pretty good. It's not a turn one win, but... I like the ability to deploy all of our stuff, and we have a brainstorm. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I think we play out all of our zero mana artifacts, and we should be looking to brainstorm on our opponent's turn after the bobble trigger. Our opponent has mulliganed opponent to mulliganing five. very aggressively. Mm hmm Silence or Mind Break. Those are the cards on our mind. Five already. Let's see how low they go. Leyline of the Leyline Void. Of the Vol so they are on four. Okay. I mean... We don't really care about that with our current hand. Yeah. It is good the lower we mulligan because we are... If we're going to brainstorm on our opponent's turn... Oh, that's good. Um, Do we even want that? Because we're trying to wish claw on two. Uh... Honestly, uh, I don't think what? we want maybe that. Not. But... Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I'll shuffle. Get an underground sea so that way we can pair it with our other lands. Brainstorm and Wishclaw Talisman as the cards we want to get. That was good. Baby. That's going to allow us to... Okay. Add Nauseam. If we find protection and an additional... It's worth noting that they were f 6 on the first turn. Uh, that, oh, that's pretty good. It's not bad. So, so I can put back, I think, both fetches. I don't want to... I would agree. 
I actually I don't just... want to fetch or anything like that. I think we just jam Nas. Yes. And I'm not going to crack this Lion's Eye Diamond. It just resolved. Okay. Marsh Flats, Burning Wish. And Our opponent on... gave us a little bit of uh, free information. They mulligan to five, put Leyline into play, and then hit the F6 key. So we knew that we didn't have to play around my break in this game. Okay, we're revealing zeros now. I got a little worried. It's got to believe. I'll watch was... some more Ted Lasso, Jordan. Oh, I can't wait for season three to come out. Me too. Did you see the new trailer? I have avoided watching the trailer. I like to go into so something cute. that I'm excited about a little blind. Yeah, but it's not like something that's going to be in the show. It's just like a get hyped trailer. Okay, then I will watch that. We should thought season and see what they kept. That's not bad. For a five, that was pretty good. Uh, Varlis, we don't crack the diamond because we had Wishclaw in hand. We had some ability to come back in this game. Mm -hmm. But why would you choose to go all in? We just didn't need to. Right. Just in case they did have a mind break trap, uh, we could still next turn Wishclaw and have the Lion's Eye Diamond up if we needed to do something with it. It's worth noting that sometimes Leyline does stop your explosive starts. Like, shuts off echo it makes right of flame worse uh it's better than something like swords to plowshares or solitude all right uh we are three and one we lost to Indeed, blue black record. reanimator oh i already did you know it i was excited about the wins i wasn't as excited about the loss so i updated it less frequently or less quickly uh hey sleepy uh I'm glad uh, you were probably on the death and taxes stream. I don't appreciate that. Get out of here, man. Oh, well, sleepy is sleepy a traitor. Sleepy is probably probably a little bit of a traitor, but that's all right. Oh. Um, OK, I'm going to run on the ad really quick about card hoarder, and then um, we're going to get paired up for round number five. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. So I will say all of the links in the video description and what I will pin a comment are going to be updated and you can click on those links to actually get version 13.9, which is this version, the most recent and updated, the Epic Storm version with Ave Progenitor Ooze. We are on the play. Love that. Love that for us. And keep yeah we're gonna keep this one for sure uh we're gonna play a scalding tarn and a mishra's bobble and see what happens pull punte that sounds really familiar um so it's crazy sleepy was in the enemy chat and missed the sick line from the winning side it seems like something that they could have solved just by watching more epic storm the sick line was actually uh even sicker it could have been even sicker okay i don't think that i want i don't know if our opponent is playing discard or anything like that i'll be just fine bobbling on their turn you know aaron uh that is scary but with version 13.9 we have a pulverize in our ma in our sideboard now we don't have to worry about chalice uh, as much as we used to. I mean, neither list did. Like this version has prismatic. Yeah. I mean, we had we Bale could Summer always beat Chalice on the other list. Like I don't know. Chalice on zero has not as been as big of an issue. Chalice on one has sometimes. Our opponent fetched and did nothing. So the Chalice decks are like next to unplayable. Am I fine Can with another land? 
Uh, I think we need to find action. Yeah. So this is going to be a dark, uh, dark ritual. Oh my gosh, I thought I was getting stifled. Um, I'm not being, uh, I'm not getting a dark ritual. I'm getting an underground sea. You think that Sleepy didn't watch our stream? Because not only did they want to watch Death and Taxes, Sleepy was upset at my BNR discussion talk earlier. Ooh, that's upkeep silence into Adnos. Oh, yes. yeah. Okay. Or should we just do it now? Should I think we, we just should do it now. I think we should just do it now. Oh, yeah. Okay. We didn't need to upkeep it. It's just right here for us. Okay, and starting off with zero, right of flame, zero. Oh, there's the echo, but... Did Alex McKinley join the call? I think Alex is on the call somewhere. He might be He might be in chat. That's all right. We can go down. Okay, that... Well, thanks uh, for joining us, Sleepy. It's nice trolling you. Oh, yeah. I'll see you around, Sleepy. Thanks for, thanks for stopping in. Okay, there we go. We needed black mana, and we found it finally. Uh, well, I should say two, two black mana. And hold priority on the burning wish. You get pure for a good measure. Oh, I could. I think I'm good. Um, if I peered, I could have eventually potentially thought seized them, but uh, so you go to two life. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Two life. I thought I was at five. Never mind. Um. It okay. Still runs down, so five life also would not work. Oh. You're right. Uh. Yeah, life is good, Grant. Is this another We're Ave matchup? Unknown blue deck. I'd probably board it in. Yeah, Let's and I think hedge for them. We saw Basic Island, which tells me control and not right. over. Which is why I want this Ave over the Echo, which uh, we talked about in round two, I believe. Uh, Adnaz is going to be better against a deck where our life total is not in uh, danger as much as it is against Delver. So that one and one swap is going to be easy peasy. Awkward. I really like this hand. I'm going to keep it. I just wish that Ave was any other card. I tell Ave you said that. I know. I like I like it when I need it. Um which is an unhealthy relationship I have with Ave and they'll get over it. Slime relay. Ancient tomb. So it is eight cast, which is a matchup that I do like even. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, they're in show and show. Uh, okay. So it's worth noting if you put even to play, it does not check for storm. Yes. I'm going to put my land into play. I think we might be picking this one up very soon. Oh, it definitely looks like it. All Blue right. Show just and tell. Blue, red, show and tell, sneak and show. Potentially. Brotherhood end. I think end. we should go to the next one. Yeah. I don't want them to know that we have Ave. We're not going to come. Like, in order to win this game, we need winning. to show them Ave. Yeah. Well, Ave is coming out. Yeah. It's, we want Thoughtseize. We don't want Relay. So, we, Ave is want the echo. coming out. We want the Echo, yes. And then we want the Thoughtseizes. And we don't want the relays. It's funny because we started this stream by telling someone that Sneak and Show doesn't see much play. I know we did, <laughs> didn't we? I know. And we came into Sneak and Show and we haven't seen a single elf. Uh, we don't want anything else. Yeah, it's just going to be those three. And we take out the Ave uh, and swap it with the Echo because we did uh, misjudge our opponent. Yeah, Vile Chill, that Atraxa is pretty powerful if you're not playing reanimator uh it has a lot of potential in non-reanimator 
decks. So we're only missing action here. Uh, but this Mox Opal isn't turned on. We have three lands. I'm going to mulligan this one. I would agree. Uh, this is essentially the same hand, but I have a Bobble, and my Mox Opal is technically turned on. Uh, I'm not super excited about this one, but I'm considering it more. This would be like the low end of keeping. What do you think, Bryant? Even though your bobble's act or your opal's active, I think if you keep this, you have to cycle the bobble. You don't have a choice. Yes. Um. um and pr knowing the speed of this matchup, I would probably go to five. But if like you mull into oblivion, it's not my fault. I would personally no. probably ship this in the matchup. I think that that's fine, and the reason is that like I'm gonna. I just don't have action. Okay. This is keepable. So, board in triple thoughts, he's only draw silence. I know. Uh, I'm going to keep this. I'm actually going to bottom a burning wish. Mm -hmm. And the. Uh, hmm. It's either the lotus petal or the silence. I think that. So, it's, what does a winning game look like to you? The winning game is going to look like. Oh, it might actually be the dark ritual. Um, Dang. Yeah, there we go. Because this is probably going to be an echo win. If you have an echo, find that Dark Ritual doesn't actually play in nicely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Got there. Mm. Someone's sleepy. It's me yawning. Because yeah. this league has gone on for like five hours. Well, our blue black reanimator opponent did try to help out as much as they could. Thoughtsies. So, I don't know if it was necessarily correct, but we could have fetched there. Um, but then again, we're shuffling two cards. We're not. We don't want. Right. I don't know if it actually makes an impact or not. Jason S. in the chat does not uh, understand exaggeration. <laughs> oh, that's fine. They're pretty cool. Uh, what are we going to draw? I mean, Lion's Eye Diamond, Lion's Diamond would, be, would be the Stone Cold Nuts. Don't ask for something medium. You always want to ask for the best. I did have a stream. I think the second stream that I was running really did have... A lot of called shots. It was a lot of fun. Um, Bobby. You still allowed to do that now that he's dead? Rest in peace, Kobe. Oh. Well. Probably not. Uh, so you can put that into play off show and tell. I like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. Um, having an uncounterable Wish Claw Talisman is actually a pretty big line in this matchup. Tim has the right idea. Only the best. Play TES. <laughs> that needs to be on the t-shirt somewhere. Okay, they have three mana. Do they have the A plus B? They do. Alright, claws out. Hiss. Okay, so we know that Atraxa is not bugged anymore, uh, so we can see what they end up picking up. Surgical Force. You definitely want to fetch here, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that now is a good time to do that. I think we want to get Badlands Plateau. I like that. That's usually where I go, right? We have the Underground Sea gets paired up with the Plateau, and then we have the Badlands. Get to okay, they two. have Show and Tell, Sneak Attack, Force of Will, 
Ottawara. Oh, um, wait, show and tell. Can we just oh, go I... to their end step, please? Sorry, <laughs> yes. I was just reading the uh, the chat log, and I, I they should have a show and tell in here. Okay, so let's get the plateau that we want. And the Badlands. Our best draw here is a another Silence or Lion's Eye Diamond. Hmm. Okay, so we do have to start off with this Silence, regardless of what else is going on. Uh, yeah, I guess just starting off with that. First pitch force. Force with. Okay. With a force. Okay. They could be playing days. Could. If you tried to cast the burning wish, I was going to scream about days. I'm glad you realized it on your own. Mm -hmm. F. Clark, what's up? You're joining us a little hey, bit Jeff. late. This is probably the last. No, this is definitely the last match this, of the, the this league. This is the last match of the league. Uh, that resolved. I have Grab the to wheel. Get the wheel. The wheels on the bus. Do they go round and round, or? It's gonna be really sad for the kids if they don't. Yeah, I know. And we want to do this. Think of the children. For the oh, if we want to start quoting Ted Lasso, for the children. We they put the surgical on the bottom. There it goes. Red yes. force. Brutal. Okay. That is unfortunate. Uh, we 3 2 this league. Uh, we lost to two Force of Will combo decks in Blue Black Reanimator and Show and Tell, Sneak and Show, with the uh, latest and greatest Atraxa tech, which is pretty cool. That said, we did get the slime twice against Delver and 2016 Control. Yes. That was always really fun. Uh, Slime Time definitely performed exactly in the matchups where we wanted it. We brought it in against an island and a ponder uh, for our sneak and show opponent, but took it out as soon as we realized what they were doing. Uh, and we then, also beat Death and Taxes with the sick ad nauseum line. Yes, that one was a really fun one. That'll definitely be uh, one to remember. Those those. Mishra's bobble triggers on the stack, sacking those lion's eye diamonds and ad nauseum in the upkeep. We even were able to back it up with a chant walk. Really, really cool stuff. Let's actually, let's open up this chest for everybody. The one chest that we get, pity chest for the three, two, and we get five play points, an Imperial Archangel, and a black and white Catilda Dawn Heart Martyr. That's some pretty cool art. Fun little frame treatment. Wow, uh, 73 QP brags. Oh, I know, right? Uh, been grinding those prelims. Not doing too bad at them either, I guess. Uh, thanks, File Chill. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you were here for our, a lot of the league. Uh, it's good to see you in here. Uh, winning record always, Nick. You know, we're working on that. But I had Bryant over here to bully me into making the right plays. And that always helps, doesn't it? Uh, we actually also came up against another streamer, Akaleth. Um, you actually might be able to check the other side of our Death and Taxes matchup. That might be kind of cool. Um, I appreciate it. Bryant, any final thoughts on this final version 13.9? It's a donation deck from Jim Novak. Thoughts? Well, you said final thoughts or final TS version. I I'd be willing to bet that well, there's another version in the future. This will not be the final version of TES. Probably not. Uh, even if I die, I hope that somebody on the team makes another version later. Well, I was but talking to really, Phil. Really good. I was talking to Phil about putting a thwart in here. 
Uh, if I die and Jordan tries to put Thwart in the Epic Storm, I want him removed from the site team. Yeah. We'll put it in your will. That's all right. Yeah. But Ave looked really good. Get your slime time tokens. Go to the Epic Storm. Get a mini token pack. Jordan, you're doing a great job. Really proud of your stream so far. It's doing well. Thank you. I really am enjoying it. It's always good to see everybody in chat interact with you guys and, and show a little bit of why I love storming off. So thank you, Bryant, for joining in. Uh, thank you to everybody in chat for hanging out with us tonight. I will be back Thursday, 8 Pacific, or Pacific, 8 Eastern, um, and then uh, we'll, we'll do this all over again. All righty? I'll see you guys around.